The Delhi government has cancelled the NOCs of 30 hotels for violating fire safety norms. This after an inspection was ordered in all hotels of the city after the Delhi Hotel Inferno killed 17 people. More hotels may face this as the government has asked the fire safety department to inspect all of these hotels and to check whether they are following the fire safety norms or not. Right, this is now the NOC that has in fact been given to 30 hotels that has been cancelled. My colleague Ayushman, who's been tracking the story very closely, joining me on the phone line with more. Ayushman, good morning. What more can you tell us? Well, yesterday, Sajnan Rijay in an off-record briefing, he said this, that uh, the NOC that was obtained, the government is looking into the matter and has also uh, done a fair amount of checking in this process. And that is why they have con come to the conclusion with this number of hotels, uh, their licenses will be cancelled at the same time. So then Jen also said that uh, the hotel owner hasn't been yet arrested yet. And that remains a concern for the state government because they allege that the hotel owner is in complicit with the BJP and that is why he is at large and he question as to why he hasn't been arrested as yet. The uh, minister also said that uh, the fire department got a call almost 45 minutes later the uh, fire took place and at 3.15 the fire uh, tenders reached the Arpit Hotel yesterday in an off-record briefing. The minister briefed about the uh, action being taken by the Delhi government over the hotels who are not are not following the norms in the fire department, and that is why to take a taking a cue from past and uh, you know uh, ensuring that these incidents don't uh, get repeated. A good number of uh, hotels licenses have been cancelled, and they have been told to come back with all those fire necessities in place, and then something can be done in that regard. Right, Ayushman, thank you so much uh, for bringing us those updates. Four days after a massive fire in a Delhi hotel claimed 17 innocent lives, the police have held the hotel owner responsible for all the lapses and have arrested two managers of the hotel. Now, the owner along with the licensee of the hotel are still on the run. But is the owner solely responsible for the lapses? Mirror now confronted officials of all the departments to identify who was accountable for all these lapses. Now, this is how a process works. To get a license for a structure in the national capital, the owner has to first get an NOC from the Municipal Corporation of New Delhi. The clearance is given only after certain parameters are checked. But in this case, there was a rampant illegal construction on the hotel rooftop and the height of the structure was 15 meters above the permissible level. Sources have also told Mira now that the MCD will now begin an internal inquiry into the matter. Then the Delhi Fire Service issues a fire safety NOC after the structure is built. They then conduct an audit every three years to renew the NOC. Sources have told Mira now that till 2010, the Delhi Fire Service conducted a yearly audit, but following complaints of corruption, the law was changed and now the audit is conducted once every three years. The local police can verify property related to documents and fire safety violations anytime. Now, they cannot take action but have to inform the concerned agencies, which in this case would have been the Municipal Corporation of Delhi, Delhi Fire Services or the Excise Department. But in this case, the police had failed to alert any of these agencies. The Excise Department then conducts checks yearly on hotels and then issues an NOC. In this case, if the check was conducted before renewing the NOC, then the question arises as to how liquor was actually being served in illegal restaurants on the rooftop and the basement of the hotel. The final agency in the train is the licensing authority. Now, every restaurant owner has to renew their license yearly. The license is only renewed after getting an NOC from all three departments. In this case, the licensing authority failed to conduct a proper check of the hotel before issuing any kind of license.